extremely important. I believe every person has huge potential and education is the key factor to help them realise that. And the teacher is the facilitator to lead the way. Education is very important for each and every one, especially for girls I think. Because to overcome all the difficulties in their life and uh, what kind of problems do they face, everything will be in education. So it will be easier for them to know about the education in the earlier stage. Teaching and education is such an important profession as you really do have the opportunity to have such a large impact on hundreds of children's lives and on their futures and that's something that I really have come to understand over here in India. Because it, it gives you a lot of knowledge, it gives us a lot of knowledge and makes us uh, a good human being. LRTT is very aware that every child deserves that opportunity. So the work that LRTT does really provides teachers with that opportunity to better themselves and to become a better teacher. It's all about that shared passion for teaching and working with teachers in a completely different way is amazing. We take it for granted in the UK the amount of training we have and if we didn't have that training, I don't think we do. And certainly coming here has made that much more possible for the teachers who teach here. day here is lively, busy, the teachers work very hard, they don't have much time off, they're with the children all the time. The children are very friendly, there are many of them in a small space. So um, I've just met the principal for the first time uh, and had a talk about how lovely the school is and what great things there are going on already um, and how we can maybe help them and what areas he would like some, some input regarding. Um, and then I spoke individually to each of the teachers that I'm working with, um, just to give them some feedback on the lessons and some suggestions on um, just small things that they can change to improve even further. Rachel, you're in the front. <laughs> so our school is the Sujana Convent. So you can, you can keep working and you get we went there yesterday and um, really lovely school, beautiful mm -hmm. school. We yeah. were very, very well looked after by our lovely lady from Mantra, um, who kind of was yeah. there for us if we needed anything. So a typical day in school for me um, is I arrive and I sit down with the principal and discuss my plans for the day. I will then go and do some observations, some mentoring, some coaching, and then I'll also teach some model lessons as well so that the teachers can see how uh, I expect it to be done. So I've just finished teaching a phonics lesson because uh, that's what the teachers uh, at Sujana Convent would like help with, with teaching early reading. The children were really responsive and really engaged uh, but it is difficult uh, because they are very young and these formal learning environments uh, can be quite hard for them so that's something that I'm going to be working on with the teachers as well, making the lessons a little bit more engaging and appropriate for five and six year olds. So I've just been speaking to Bria, really good session, she's really keen to take on board a lot of the ideas, um, mainly about positive reinforcement and about the idea of getting all the class involved, not just those couple of keen beans who want to answer questions of her all the time. So we use cards, the idea of using cards, so she's going to put that hopefully into her lesson tomorrow. What's absolutely fantastic about this is that the teachers have an opportunity to talk about teaching, pick up some new ideas, yeah, but the time that they have together as a group of teachers is absolute gold dust. We've only just started, but we've introduced uh, things that they've done in a previous conference to link it to today, and we'll talk about our learning objective for the conference. 
the teachers have varying experience. Some have been teaching a long time, some haven't quite so much. But each of them has a rare quality that they have a very good rapport with the children. The teachers are wonderful here, very positive, they've been very welcoming and receptive and they're very, very keen to learn what they can about teaching. a discussion to see to just find out exactly why stating the learning objective at the beginning of each lesson is important. I found the teachers absolutely fantastic to work with. They've been very receptive and taken on board a lot of feedback we've given. I've also learned a lot too about my own teaching which is fantastic. With doll, uh, like Angel and Loving the independent work and the um, independent group work with the leaders helping the others, that's really good. If I had to sum up a Latin team one word, it would be educational. I prefer them here because I've enjoyed my experience so much here. I've gained so much from it and I will miss it immensely. I have learned so much from this experience and I have so many skills that I can now take back to my school in England. As innovative, I'd say it's ambitious in a positive sense. Visionary, because it, it's really trying to bring together teachers from completely different cultures with a shared love of learning. Anyone considering doing LRTT, I would thoroughly recommend it. It's very overpacked, it's very overpacked, a ridiculous amount, and you really don't need that much. But yeah, definitely you should do it because you have an opportunity to make such a difference. But be prepared to work hard because you really work hard. But on the other hand, you do have the most amazing experience. This has been an amazing personal and professional experience. It has challenged me mentally and physically, but Working together with teachers from a completely different culture has been the most amazing experience.